closer to the longer summer weather, and that means more beautiful fresh fruit. But with fresh fruit comes fruit flies. Dan Kohler here to explain why, but more importantly, pesky. to tell us how to get rid of them. Dan, how do they get into the so our homes? They're so pesky, these I know. things. Yeah. They're such a nightmare. We all have yes. this problem. I mean, even if you keep the cleanest kitchen, these can sort of be a nuisance for everybody. And the truth is, the first thing you should know is they're not dangerous, right? So this is not something you need to be afraid of with disease or, or infection or anything. They're just kind of disgusting. Right. And they're coming in because a lot of them uh, actually lay eggs right on the fruit. They are oh. feasting on, on the <laughs> flesh of the fruit. And <laughs> believe it or not, you can't see it, but some of these fruit fly eggs might be coming with you home from the store. The other way they can get in, actually, fruit flies are so small, and actually you can see some of them, right? Oh my here. goodness. They are so tiny, they're much Ugh. smaller than the regular house fly, that they Ugh. can actually get in the in between the mesh of your screens. They're, they're very tiny, so they're coming in, they can smell what you've got at home, and they want to find a way in. And oh. it's always like an infestation. <laughs> yeah, listen, I- I mean, I, there's never one. No, you don't, it's like if you live in New York, you don't have mouse, you have mice. <laughs> you, no, one, no one ever has fruit fly, you have fruit flies, <laughs> right? You, you can't just get one because they have- You don't have roach. You have roaches, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> they have such a short lifespan. They live for about a month. They go from uh, infant to fully grown in about eight days. And in that month, the female can lay about 500 eggs. They're going to make the most of that short lifespan. So if you, even if you only see one, you probably are going to have a couple hundred soon enough. And they so you've got to figure out how to get on top of this as soon as possible. <laughs> what? No. They don't offer any rent. No. No. Unbelievable. They're squatters they're is what they are. They're free oh, loaders. Right there. Right right there. Right there. Oh. So what exactly Lady is it that they are looking for? Fruit flies are attracted to the scent of fermenting uh, fruit sugar, which maybe sounds like a complicated thing you don't think you have, except that anytime fruit is ripening, the process of ripening is one in which starch converts to sugar by a process of fermentation. So it's only when the fruit is dying? When they're, yeah, ripening and dying are the same thing. We're we are all ripening, all of us, every, every <laughs> moment, every day. Way so to lift up <laughs> let's get to it. How do we prevent them? The easiest way, we're gonna do a sort of a three-pronged approach. Okay, the first thing you wanna do, make sure you wash your fruits and vegetables when you get them home. Get rid of anything that could be on them. I use just a nice, simple solution, very diluted, of a, a dye-free, scent-free soap. And then once it's ripe, you wanna put your fruit in the fridge, and if you're worried about getting uh, bugs in your fridge, just make sure that the seal is not cracked. This is a place you always wanna make sure is totally Totally good to go because then you can keep the flies out of well, it. Well, can and they you live said in once there? Once it's right, they can. They'll go. Yeah, they, they can live in there. So but you're not going to kill them if they're on the fruit and they're in there. Uh, they'll go to sleep once they're in there, like most bugs. But they live. But they can live. Now oh you have to look for other places they can live. Damp sponges they can lay their eggs in. Mm. And when you dump, uh, when you take your trash out, if you've had any wine or beer or juice boxes or soda, if you can see even just this little amount of liquid right there in the bottom, that's enough for them to lay their eggs in. So rinse out bottles, rinse out cans before you throw them away. And believe it or not, one of the other places that they can lay their eggs is right in your sink drain, which is pretty much constantly damp. I'm telling you, they're oh. always coming out of my sink. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. if you want to get rid of them there, this is something you can do probably once a month. Use a solution of bleach and water, you know, three parts water to one part bleach. Pour it down in there. That will kill the bugs. So that, that's going to clean out everything in there. That's going to make sure those eggs are nice and dead. Um, but then you also want to have a trap, right? You've got to you've got to figure out a way to attract the ones you've already got, and this is the easiest way. Take a jar, put a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. Remember, they are attracted to the scent of That's fermenting fruit sugar. This is yeah. fermenting fruit sugar, and so they'll fly in there. They'll want to get a sip. Uh, this has enough surface tension that they can stand on it and then fly away. So you want to cut that surface tension by just adding a little bit of soap on top, and instantly that actually makes a trap. They're going to fly in. They're going to go in for a sip, and then they're going to sink, and they're not going to be able to get out and believe it or not we set one of those out earlier and uh, you actually can see how many oh, oh are my already goodness. caught in here this trick works love the sound this, effect this feels like a horror movie I know. fruit flies well here they're already <laughs> oh. By the way, where did you even get this thing? Yes, Why are they full what of is fruit? That? what is it they're they're uh, at pet stores they're but they're uh, they're food you want some? No, no, no. They're I'm great. All good. They make a great garnish. Dad. I'm all good. You know who might want them? Ken, because he's up next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Um, what you also have besides fruit flies at home is terracotta pots. They're a little prettier. I'm going to show you how to paint them up nice.